Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree, this is my Lavender Pages, and sorry, gotta get my little foot thing. Oh my goodness, it has been a whirlwind of two weeks. Because my husband works for a school district, he has been home for two weeks because there's no reason for him to be at the school when there's no teachers there. And my daughter's been home for two weeks because she goes to the same school as the district that he is in. My son hasn't had school. My schedule goes completely out the door and gone when my family's home. So whew, I'm slowly getting back into my schedule um, ish. They haven't gone back to work in school yet. That happens on Monday. Today is Friday. But I needed to get my week planned and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to turn the camera on. We're going to see how it goes. My husband isn't here right now. He is out doing his thing. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to hurry, turn on the camera, and then I'm going to go rent the new Downton Abbey movie and fold clothes and eat food. <laughs> That's what I'm doing when I'm done here. So let's go over what we are working on. So here is the kit for the coming week. Um, I'm still going to use the same blues and purples, and I call this kit Winter Gray it's kind of gray. Here, I'll turn this here. And then we have the traditional text sheet. And I did not put dots on the date dots on this again because I'm using these date dots. Okay, so there we go. Here's our kit. Um, before I get too far into anything, I do want to use this piece of vellum, you won't be able to see it, but it does have a shimmer to it and it just reminds me of snow. But I don't think it's quite big enough for my stamp. And I don't quite know what I'm going to do. We're going to forego the stamp. So thank you, stamp, for coming to play today. Put it over there. And let's get out the planner. So, like I said in my last video, this is a Foxy Fix. My husband gave this to me for my Christmas present. My word of the year is strength, and it is in purple foil here in the bottom. And then I have the moon phases here on the spine, which is also in the purple foil. Bright green, lime green elastic, and then I have the pen pouch to match. Purple foil says she designed a life she loved. Okay, so that's my Foxy Fix. I still love it. I still hold it and go smell it because it just smells so glorious. Okay, and I've got my little pockets all filled in with my supplies. And then I kind of wanted, I had this in my last TN that put some ideas of what I wanted to do in my Hobonichi for 2020. And so I just stuck this in the corner or in the back pocket right here. And then you can kind of see my word strength is starting to spread. But it is my front covers, and I am not going to show you my year at a glance because it has birthdays on it. But here is January, and this is today. So, and then. This is how my current week is looking. And then if we go into the habit tracker and um, sleep and mood and weather. And then self care and the first of the year. is today. I can cross this off because I just did that. Get my, I loaded my fountain pen up with um, the J. Herben Amethyst color. So that's the, the color my fountain pen will be rocking through the month of January. Okay, so we are here to plan this week right here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the date cover-ups. Um, these are not, again, not my pictures. I have a Storyblocks subscription that I get a lot of my pictures from. Um, I do have some winter pictures that I have taken recently but I am still working with them in Photoshop and I'm not quite ready to turn them into a kit yet. So there's that story. I'm just trying to get this on decently straight and obviously I'm struggling. Okay, so there's that side. My kids are upstairs kind of playing. My daughter desperately, desperately wants to learn how to play the piano, so she's kind of playing on the piano upstairs. Let's see if we can get that pucker out close enough. There we go. Okay, then we're, let's move to the bottom washi. Yep, there you can hear her playing the piano. And if I can hear correctly, it sounds like my son is trying desperately to get her to stop so that she, he can play with her. That has been the, oh, common routine. Um, she is six and is very good. She'll play with her brother and then she'll be done. And she won't want to play and she'll want to go do her own thing. She's very artistic. Um, there is a video of me and her planning our Januaries together and I will link that in the cards right about here. And um, she is already a sticker pro. She, <laughs> she can lay those things down all straight first time and I'm over here struggling. But yeah, so you can probably hear her yelling. <laughs> I until blood is drawn, I don't not really. But I don't really interfere because I think they need to learn how to communicate and figure things out on their own. But we'll see how long it takes before one of them comes down here and is like, Mom, so and so is interrupting me or not playing with me. It's just story of my life. Okay, there we go. Bottom washi, top washi. Do I want to use this? Yeah. Okay, let's get some glue on here. This is a Zig um, glue pen. It, it's two-way glue. If the glue goes on blue, it's fairly strong permanent adhesive. And there's our first interruptus. <sighs> okay, she just had a piano question. There we go. So then let's get our box. I think it was telling you about my Zig glue pen. So it, if the glue is blue, it's fairly permanent. If it's clear, it's repositionable. But it is acid free and xylene free. So yeah, good investment. First try using that stuff, I like it. Okay. So now we need to get my schedule in. Now, um, I have colors that I use, but the colors here, they're similar, but they do not perfectly match my pen colors. I mean, the blues match, but I don't have a dark purple. Anyway, so I'm not gonna use these to color code, but because I put this piece of vellum down, I'm not gonna color code on the vellum because it will smear really, really bad. 
so I'm just going to reverse, reverse, revert back to these colors and go from there. And I'm just going to put some music on and put my schedule in for the week. And then as I put the boxes down, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, there we go. There's the schedule. So let's get some boxes down. You can see what we've got going on. Oh, God, I keep using that little stool thing. Okay, so this is my work schedule. It has changed. So let's see how many blue boxes we have that will work. sure if I am going to like this work schedule or not because I no longer have evenings that are completely my own. I, if you can see Monday through Friday I work practically every evening. So we shall see how I like this. Okay, so then we have Little Miss School, and we're going to just enjoy a pattern of color. So let's do a thin one for right here, and then put one here. Let's get a dark purple early day and a blue for Friday and then we'll use a light purple for oh this one's Friday that other one's Thursday and then key mid little man has preschool he goes back to preschool on he is supposed to go back yesterday but his teacher goes if you don't want to bring him, don't. And his teacher's one of my good friends, and I'm just kind of like, 
Yeah, he is not coming. He is just not coming. And she's like, that's okay. That is just fine. Okay, so then we have that. Okay. So these other ones here, let's put this really pretty one for church. Actually, let's do... Hold moment, please. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so we're going to use... Um, <laughs> I've changed my mind. We're going to use this one for right here. And we're going to put a pretty box up here. Not that they're not all pretty. Right there. And then we're also going to put another one right here. Let's get the tweezers out. Um, this is Little Miss's school. Um, I am not using stickers on my day pages anymore. Um, I have chosen instead to use my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip drawing pen so that I, or brush tip pen, so that I can practice uh, my hand lettering. We're going to take this one off. And the reason I did that, I have two reasons for switching out the stickers. One, I want to practice. And two, um, it won't bulk my planner up as much. My Hobonichi won't get as bulky with the stickers not being on the daily pages. So I am still doing deco on the pages. I'm just not using these on every page is kind of how I've changed that. Okay, so we have work. And I have a split shift now on Tuesdays. I work 4 to 6 and then 9. Is it right? Nope on Wednesdays. This is not work here. This is work. So then on Wednesdays I have a split shift to work. Four to six and then one hour. Nine to ten. And this is because my husband goes up to our church building on Wednesday nights for the youth, the young men and the young women, and helps them on Wednesday nights. So he needed me to not work so that I can handle the kids. And for the first time in six years, I have Saturdays off. Yay, I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, so we're gonna put the weekend banner you know, I think I want to put some washi tape down first. And I love this washi tape. It is very plain. 
it is just black and white but it reminds me of winter and January because it's pine cones and pine trees and it's just kind of cool looking then we'll take our weekend banner it's I'm trying to not tear it and it's not coming off the sheet there we go kind of sort of it will do it will do okay so weekend here and I truly get a weekend I'm so excited okay so let's use these fun picture dots and we're gonna put right here at the top of the day Wednesday is trash day and Friday at the top of the day is payday so let's get a trash sticker out here and a payday And then um, we're going to use these logs. And put goals. I decided last week since I was enjoying the insanity of having my family home to put a sticker right there. I'm leaving the goals, but I just put a sticker there because there's no way I'm getting anything productive done with my family here. Okay. I think that will do it. Oh, I do need to write in a couple of things. Okay. So here's some more music because I write really slow and I'll be back with you in a minute. Here is January 6th through the 12th. I will put my goals and such in. Probably put some deco down here later at another time because I'm going to flip through my stuff and see what I have and pick it from there. But here's what we have left over. And somebody else is coming in and is going to get in trouble here in just a second because I am almost done and they need to wait. But go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I hope 2020 is treating all of you fantastically. Thanks for coming and seeing me. Bye-bye.